A logistic function or logistic curve is a common S shape sigmoid curve with equation f x equals l 1 plus e minus k x minus x 0 Display style f x equals frac l one plus e caret k x x underscore zero, where e equals the natural logarithm base, also known as Euler's number. X zero equals the x value of the sigmoid's midpoint. L equals the curve's maximum value, and K equals the logistic growth rate or steepness of the curve, for values of x in the domain of real numbers from minus infinity to plus infinity, the s-curve shown on the right is obtained, with the graph of f approaching l as x approaches plus infinity and approaching zero as x approaches minus infinity. The logistic function finds applications in a range of fields, including artificial neural networks, biology, especially ecology, biomathematics, chemistry, demography, economics, geoscience, mathematical psychology, probability, sociology, political science, linguistics, and statistics. Topic: History The logistic function was introduced in a series of three papers by Pierre-François Verhulst between 1838 and 1847, who devised it as a model of population growth by adjusting the exponential growth model, under the guidance of Adolf Quetelet. Verhulst first devised the function in the mid-1830s, publishing a brief note in 1838, then presented an expanded analysis and named the function in 1844 published 1845. The third paper adjusted the correction term in his model of Belgian population growth. The initial stage of growth is approximately exponential geometric, then, as saturation begins, the growth slows to linear arithmetic, and at maturity, growth stops. Verhulst did not explain the choice of the term logistic, French, logistic, but it is presumably in contrast to the logarithmic curve, and by analogy with arithmetic and geometric. His growth model is preceded by a discussion of arithmetic growth and geometric growth, whose curve he calls a logarithmic curve, instead of the modern term exponential curve, and thus, logistic growth is presumably named by analogy, logistic being from ancient Greek, logistikos translate, logistikos, a traditional division of Greek mathematics. The term is unrelated to the military and management term logistics, which is instead from French, logis, lodgings. Though some believe the Greek term also influenced logistics, see logistics section origin for details. Topic. Mathematical properties The standard logistic function is the logistic function with parameters k. Topic 1, x0 0, 0, l equals 1 which yields f x equals 1 1 plus e minus x equals e x e x plus 1 equals 1 2 plus 1 2 tan h x 2 display style begin aligned f x and equals frac 1 1 plus e caret x equals frac e caret x e caret x plus 1 equals t frac 1 2 plus t frac 1 2 2 tan h t f r a c x 2 end aligned in practice due to the nature of the exponential function e minus x it is often sufficient to compute the standard logistic function for x over a small range of real numbers such as a range contained in minus 6 plus 6 as it quickly conva urges very close to its saturation values of 0 and 1 the logistic function has the symmetry property that 1 minus f x equals f minus x display style 1 f x equals f x thus x f x minus 
1 2 display style x mapsto f by minus 1 half is an odd function the logistic function is an offset and scaled hyperbolic tangent function f x equals 1 2 plus 1 2 tan h x 2 display style f x equals t f r a c 1 2 plus t f r a c 1 2 tan h t f r a c x 2 or tan h x equals 2 f 2 x minus 1 display style tan h x equals 2 f 2 x minus 1 this follows from tan h x equals e x minus e minus x e x plus e minus x equals e x 1 minus e minus 2 x e x 1 plus e minus 2x equals f 2x minus e minus 2 by 1 plus e minus 2x equals f 2x minus e minus 2x plus 1 minus 1 1 plus e minus 2x equals 2f 2x minus 1 Display style begin align tan h x and equals frac e caret x e caret x e caret x plus e caret x equals frac e caret x c d o t left one e caret two x right e caret x c d o t left one plus e caret two x right six p t and equals f two x frac e caret two x one plus e caret two x equals f two x frac a C E carrot two X plus one 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 plus E carrot two X equals two F two X minus one. End aligned. Topic Derivative The standard logistic function has an easily calculated derivative F X equals one 1 plus e minus x equals e x 1 plus e x Display style f x equals frac 1 1 plus e caret x equals frac e caret x 1 plus e caret x d D x f x equals e x one plus e x minus e x e x one plus e x Two equals E X one plus E X two equals F X one minus F X Display style FRAC D DX F X equals FRAC E carrot X C D O T one plus E carrot X E carrot X C D O T E carrot X one plus E carrot X carrot two equals FRAC E carrot X one plus E carrot X carrot two equals F X one F X The derivative of the logistic function is an even function, that is F minus 
x equals f x display style f x equals f x topic integral conversely its antiderivative can be computed by the substitution u equals 1 plus e x display style u equals 1 plus e caret x since f x equals e x 1 plus e x equals u u display style f x equals frac e caret x 1 plus e caret x equals frac u u so dropping the constant of integration e x 1 plus e x d x equals 1 u d u equals log u equals log 1 plus e x Display style int frac e caret x one plus e caret x dx equals int frac one u do equals log u equals log one plus e caret x. In artificial neural networks, this is known as the soft plus function, and with scaling is a smooth approximation of the ramp function, just as the logistic function with scaling is a smooth approximation of the heaviside step function. Topic. Logistic differential equation The standard logistic function is the solution of the simple first-order nonlinear ordinary differential equation d d x f x equals f x 1 minus f x display style frac d dx f x equals f x 1 f x with boundary condition f 0 equals 1 half this equation is the continuous version of the logistic map the qualitative behavior is easily understood in terms of the phase line the derivative is 0 when the function is 1 and the derivative is positive for f between 0 and 1 and negative for f above 1 or less than 0 though negative populations do not generally accord with a physical model this yields an unstable equilibrium at 0 and a stable equilibrium at 1 and thus for any function value greater than 0 and less than 1 it grows to 1 the logistic equation is a special case of the Bernoulli differential equation and has the following solution f x equals e x e x plus c display style f x equals frac e caret x e caret x plus c choosing the constant of integration c equals 1 display style c equals 1 gives the other well known form of the definition of the logistic curve f x equals e x e x plus 1 equals 1 1 plus e minus x display style f x equals frac e caret x e caret x plus 1 equals frac 1 1 plus e caret x 
More quantitatively, as can be seen from the analytical solution, the logistic curve shows early exponential growth for negative argument, which slows to linear growth of slope one quarter for an argument near zero, then approaches one with an exponentially decaying gap. The logistic function is the inverse of the natural logit function and so can be used to convert the logarithm of odds into a probability. In mathematical notation the logistic function is sometimes written as expit in the same form as logit. The conversion from the log likelihood ratio of two alternatives also takes the form of a logistic curve. The hyperbolic tangent relationship leads to another form for the logistic function's derivative d d x f x equals 1 4 sec 2 x 2 Display style FRAC D DX F X equals FRAC one four operator name sec carrot two left T FRAC X two right which ties the logistic function into the logistic distribution. Topic Rotational symmetry about zero one half The sum of the logistic function and its reflection about the vertical axis f minus x is one one plus e minus x plus one one plus e minus minus x equals one plus E X plus one plus E minus X one plus E minus X one plus E X equals Two plus E X plus E minus X one plus E X plus E minus X plus E X minus x equals 2 plus e x plus e minus x 2 plus e x plus e minus x equals one display style frac one one plus e caret x plus frac one one plus e caret x equals frac one plus e caret x plus one plus e caret x one plus e caret x one plus e caret x equals frac two plus e caret x plus e caret x one plus e caret x plus e caret x plus e caret x x equals frac two plus e caret x plus e caret x two plus e caret x plus e caret x equals one. The logistic function is thus rotationally symmetrical about the point zero one half. Topic Applications. Topic in ecology, modeling population growth 
A typical application of the logistic equation is a common model of population growth see also population dynamics, originally due to Pierre-François Verhulst in 1838, where the rate of reproduction is proportional to both the existing population and the amount of available resources, all else being equal. The Verhulst equation was published after Verhulst had read Thomas Malthus an essay on the principle of population. Verhulst derived his logistic equation to describe the self-limiting growth of a biological population. The equation was rediscovered in 1911 by A. G. McKendrick for the growth of bacteria in broth and experimentally tested using a technique for nonlinear parameter estimation. The equation is also sometimes called the Verhulst Perl equation following its rediscovery in 1920 by Raymond Perl (1879–1940) and Lowell Reed (1888–1966) of the Johns Hopkins University. Another scientist, Alfred J. Lotka, derived the equation again in 1925, calling it the law of population growth. Letting p represent population size n is often used in ecology instead and t represent time, this model is formalized by the differential equation d p d t equals r p 1 minus p k Display style FRAC DP DT equals RP CDOT left one FRAC PK right, where the constant R defines the growth rate and K as the carrying capacity. In the equation, the early, unimpeded growth rate is modeled by the first term plus RP. The value of the rate R represents the proportional increase of the population P in one unit of time. Later, as the population grows, the modulus of the second term which multiplied out as minus rp2, k, becomes almost as large as the first, as some members of the population p interfere with each other by competing for some critical resource, such as food or living space. This antagonistic effect is called the bottleneck, and is modeled by the value of the parameter k. The competition diminishes the combined growth rate, until the value of p ceases to grow this is called maturity of the population. The solution to the equation with p 0 displaystyle p underscore 0 being the initial population is p T equals K P zero E R T K plus P zero E R T minus one equals K one plus k minus p 0 p 0 e minus r t Display style p t equals frac k p underscore zero e caret r t k plus p underscore zero left e caret r t minus one right equals frac k one plus left frac k p underscore zero p underscore zero right e caret r t where lim t infinity p T equals K displaystyle lim underscore T to NAFT P T equals K, which is to say that K is the limiting value of P, the highest value that the population can reach given infinite time or come close to reaching in finite time. It is important to stress that the carrying capacity is asymptotically reached independently of the initial value p zero greater than zero, and also in the case that p zero greater than k. 
In ecology, species are sometimes referred to as R strategist or K strategist depending upon the selective processes that have shaped their life history strategies. Choosing the variable dimensions so that n measures the population in units of carrying capacity, and tau measures time in units of 1, r, gives the dimensionless differential equation d n d tau equals n 1 minus n Display style FRAC DN D tau equals N one N. Topic Time varying carrying capacity. Since the environmental conditions influence the carrying capacity, as a consequence it can be time varying K T greater than zero, leading to the following mathematical model. D P D T equals R P one minus P K T Display style FRAC DP DT equals RP CDOT left one FRAC P K T right a particularly important case is that of carrying capacity that varies periodically with period t k t plus t equals k t display style k t plus t equals k t it can be shown that in such a case, independently from the initial value p zero greater than zero, p t will tend to a unique periodic solution p asterisk t, whose period is t. A typical value of t is one year. In such case, k t may reflect periodical variations of weather conditions. Another interesting generalization is to consider that the carrying capacity k t is a function of the population at an earlier time, capturing a delay in the way population modifies its environment. This leads to a logistic delay equation, which has a very rich behavior, with bistability in some parameter range, as well as a monotonic decay to zero, smooth exponential growth, punctuated unlimited growth i.e., multiple S-shapes, punctuated growth or alternation to a stationary level, oscillatory approach to a stationary level, sustainable oscillations, finite time singularities as well as finite time death. Topic. In statistics and machine learning Logistic functions are used in several roles in statistics. For example, they are the cumulative distribution function of the logistic family of distributions, and they are, a bit simplified, used to model the chance a chess player has to beat his opponent in the ELO rating system. More specific examples now follow. Topic. Logistic regression Logistic functions are used in logistic regression to model how the probability p of an event may be affected by one or more explanatory variables. An example would be to have the model p equals f a plus b x Display style p equals f a plus b x, where x is the explanatory variable and a and b are model parameters to be fitted, and f is the standard logistic function. Logistic regression and other log-linear models are also commonly used in machine learning. A generalization of the logistic function to multiple inputs is the softmax activation function, used in multinomial logistic regression. Another application of the logistic function is in the RASH model, used in item response theory. 
In particular, the RASH model forms a basis for maximum likelihood estimation of the locations of objects or persons on a continuum, based on collections of categorical data, for example the abilities of persons on a continuum based on responses that have been categorized as correct and incorrect. Topic. Neural networks Logistic functions are often used in neural networks to introduce nonlinearity in the model or to clamp signals to within a specified range. A popular neural net element computes a linear combination of its input signals, and applies a bounded logistic function to the result. This model can be seen as a smoothed variant of the classical threshold neuron. A common choice for the activation or squashing functions, used to clip for large magnitudes to keep the response of the neural network bounded as G H equals 1 1 plus E minus 2 beta H Display style g h equals frac 1 1 plus e caret minus 2 beta h, which is a logistic function. These relationships result in simplified implementations of artificial neural networks with artificial neurons. Practitioners caution that sigmoidal functions which are anti-symmetric about the origin e.g. the hyperbolic tangent lead to faster convergence when training networks with backpropagation, the logistic function is itself the derivative of another proposed activation function, the soft plus. Topic. In medicine, modeling of growth of tumors Another application of logistic curve is in medicine, where the logistic differential equation is used to model the growth of tumors. This application can be considered an extension of the above-mentioned use in the framework of ecology see also the generalized logistic curve, allowing for more parameters. Denoting with x t the size of the tumor at time t, its dynamics are governed by x equals r 1 minus x k x display style x equals r left 1 frac x k right x which is of the type x equals f x x f x 0 Display style x equals f x x q quad f x l e q zero, where f x is the proliferation rate of the tumor. If a chemotherapy is started with a log kill effect, the equation may be revised to be x equals r one minus x k x minus C T X Display style x equals R left one FRAC x K right x C T X where C T is the therapy induced death rate. In the idealized case of very long therapy, C T can be modeled as a periodic function of period T or in case of continuous infusion therapy as a constant function, and one has that 1 t 0 t c t d t greater than r lim t plus infinity x t equals 0 Display style frac 1 t int underscore 0 caret t c t d t greater than r to lim underscore t to plus in a t x t equals 0. I.e., if the average therapy-induced death rate is greater than the baseline proliferation rate, then there is the eradication of the disease. 
Of course, this is an oversimplified model of both the growth and the therapy e.g. it does not take into account the phenomenon of clonal resistance. Topic. In chemistry, reaction models The concentration of reactants and products in autocatalytic reactions follow the logistic function. The degradation of platinum group metal free PGM free oxygen reduction reaction or catalyst in fuel cell cathodes follows the logistic decay function, suggesting an autocatalytic degradation mechanism. Topic: In physics, Fermi distribution. The logistic function determines the statistical distribution of fermions over the energy states of a system in thermal equilibrium. In particular, it is the distribution of the probabilities that each possible energy level is occupied by a fermion, according to Fermi-Dirac statistics. Topic: In material science, phase diagrams. Diffusion bonding Topic. In linguistics, language change In linguistics, the logistic function can be used to model language change, an innovation that is at first marginal begins to spread more quickly with time, and then more slowly as it becomes more universally adopted. Topic. In agriculture, modeling crop response The logistic S-curve can be used for modeling the crop response to changes in growth factors. There are two types of response functions, positive and negative growth curves. For example, the crop yield may increase with increasing value of the growth factor up to a certain level positive function, or it may decrease with increasing growth factor values negative function owing to a negative growth factor, which situation requires an inverted S-curve. In economics and sociology, diffusion of innovations The logistic function can be used to illustrate the progress of the diffusion of an innovation through its life cycle. In The Laws of Imitation 1890, Gabriel Tarde describes the rise and spread of new ideas through imitative chains. In particular, Tarde identifies three main stages through which innovations spread, the first one corresponds to the difficult beginnings, during which the idea has to struggle within a hostile environment full of opposing habits and beliefs, the second one corresponds to the properly exponential takeoff of the idea, with f x equals 2 x Display style f x equals two caret x. Finally, the third stage is logarithmic, with f x equals log x. Display style f x equals log x, and corresponds to the time when the impulse of the idea gradually slows down, while simultaneously new opponent ideas appear. The ensuing situation halts or stabilizes the progress of the innovation, which approaches an asymptote. In the history of economy, when new products are introduced there is an intense amount of research and development which leads to dramatic improvements in quality and reductions in cost. This leads to a period of rapid industry growth. Some of the more famous examples are, railroads, incandescent light bulbs, electrification, cars and air travel. Eventually, dramatic improvement and cost reduction opportunities are exhausted, the product or process are in widespread use with few remaining potential new customers, and markets become saturated. Logistic analysis was used in papers by several researchers at the International Institute of Applied Systems Analysis IIASA. 
These papers deal with the diffusion of various innovations, infrastructures and energy source substitutions and the role of work in the economy as well as with the long economic cycle. Long economic cycles were investigated by Robert Ayres 1989. Cesare Marchetti published on long economic cycles and on diffusion of innovations. Arnulf Grubler's book 1990 gives a detailed account of the diffusion of infrastructures including canals, railroads, highways and airlines, showing that their diffusion followed logistic-shaped curves. Carlota Perez used a logistic curve to illustrate the long Kondratiev business cycle with the following labels: beginning of a technological era as eruption, the ascent as frenzy, the rapid build-out as synergy and the completion as maturity. Topic. See also equals equals notes. <laughs>